Hello, ladies and maybe gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome to Books, Beauty, and Business. This is Baby and Trooper. Baby's chewing on her bone. I wanted to talk today about um, when to fight, when to negotiate, and when to just roll with the punches. Um, we find in business things that we deal with will always have you'll always have a gut reaction or initial reaction, um, which isn't always the best reaction to have in situations. Um, in meetings, uh, someone says something that just you completely disagree with. How do you deal with that? And um, as a mother, things that happen to your child, how you react to those things. Um, you know, there's we have a couple of choices, right? You fight, you negotiate, or you, uh, you roll with the punches. So I have found that the more I take time to process, which we all process at different speeds, if you take a little time to process what you're feeling, what you're thinking, and what actually happened, sometimes you can rationalize your way to the best scenario in the best way that you should react uh, to either get what you want or make your point. So recently, um, my daughter had a fundraiser at her school and they were selling raffle tickets, which is essentially gambling, right? Um, and they were required to sell these tickets and to meet a certain amount. And if they did this, they got a day off of school. Um, they can do this, I guess, because they're a private school. I don't know. And so they sent an email out saying, hey, we're selling raffle tickets. So we made a plan. We picked out our target. We sold our raffle tickets. We turned in our money and we got a day off of school. And we... I got an email the other day from the school and it said those students that did not qualify, that did not meet the fundraising requirement are listed here and it had a link and it had each student's name and then it had their grade level. Of These students did not meet the goal of fundraising. And I'm thinking, you know, some students just don't have the means, don't have the I don't know. They don't have a job, so they can't purchase them themselves. And maybe they don't have a way to sell hundreds of dollars of raffle tickets. And then they're being blasted out by the school, kind of shaming them into, hey, you didn't do this. You got to go to school and making it pretty uncomfortable. And my initial reaction was, this is not right. Like, how dare you go through the stick instead of the carrot? Like, why are you beating these kids and shaming them instead of congratulating the ones that actually did a good job and did this community effort and did this great fundraising? Well, I was really upset and I wanted to let the principal and the head and everyone else know that I did not agree with this methodology for these children, especially during anti-bullying week at the school. And I think that they should rethink how they're doing this well i wrote the email and then i wrote the social media blog tagged all the right people and they were going to know how i felt and of course the voice of reason um which is my husband said just think about it and so i did i thought about it um and i did not send the email and i did not post it on social media i remembered that um, we did not get off our butts right away to sell these raffle tickets. And that did not make me sell the raffle tickets. But the last day, that list of children that was probably, I don't know, 150 to 100 kids on it, was down to seven. And everyone that participated actually did it. So did the stick work? Would the carrot have worked as well? I don't know. But I'm also not going to make my daughter's life at school more difficult because I don't like how they're doing things. If it directly affected her, maybe I would have felt differently. But then I would have been that complaining person, right? So how? when do we roll with the punches? When do we, when do we actually stand up and say something? In today's world, I think too many people... Are worried about what everyone believes in and how they feel and how they're offended just because I believe in something does not mean I'm doing something malicious out there against my opposing whatever belief so I think that everyone just needs to take some time sometimes to internalize things watch things and obviously protect 
what their, um, you know, their family or whatever they're dealing with. But I thought that was very interesting. Now there's another time where raising an issue and fighting for it will get you exactly what you wanted. And that's when you're dealing with banks. <laughs> you guys have a great day. Bye.